What's up, everybody? How are you doing? I hope you're well. I hope you're fine. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And thank you so much for the new subscribers. And if you're not new, you've been around. Asante sana. May God bless and reward you. My name is Esther Njao. Kama kawaida. And I am super excited about this week. I said it in my first video. I am excited about this year. And I hope God is going to uh, is going to replace all the things that we lost in 2020. Uh, welcome back again to another yet interesting video that we'll be discussing on different stages of relationships and how to handle each stage. So God bless you and may you learn, may you be transformed and may you tell a friend, tell another friend to subscribe to this channel. I love you so much and enjoy this video. discussing on uh, different stages of your relationship and how to be confident in every stage and I'll start with singlehood like uh, each and every one of us starts uh, as being single like we start dating much later in life but I just want to say see, being single is okay I have said this a couple of times and I'll just repeat it like being single is okay actually singlehood is the best yeah, singlehood is the best stage to be in life like this is a place where you get to know your weaknesses, you get to know your strength, you get to know what you can handle, what you can't handle, you know what you yeah, like you know what you really want when you're single. And that's the time you explore, like you explore, you can travel, you make uh, personal decisions like you don't have a person who is telling you like there is nobody who is uh, opposing your decisions you make decisions uh, as an individual and you travel you do all those things you explore you learn uh, that is a stage that you I feel you should constantly take care of like take care of your singlehood it matters a lot don't go having casual sex because you're single don't go breaking marriages simply because you're single a time will come when you want to settle down a time will come when you, you are making that decision, you want this and this and this in life. And something you did when you're single is going to hinder you from doing all those things. So take care of your singlehood. Let God guide your singlehood. And don't don't wait until you're old so you can give God your old self. Let let him have your singlehood. Let him enjoy you, your youth. Like when you're young, when you're energetic, uh, you can you use that energy to serve God. It doesn't mean like serving God doesn't mean that you go to church and do all those things. It is good. It is okay if you can good for you but you can serve god in different ways you can serve god in different tell god to lead you like in whatever capacity let him show you your your, your gifts let him show you your strengths that is the best time to pray there are no interactions that is the best time to fast there's no any any hindrance like singlehood being single is the best 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 i've been to different stages in in, in relationships being single is the best believe me when i tell you being single is the best. So take care of your singlehood. Make wise decisions. Get your finances right when you're single. Do all those sort of things. Like I keep telling people, I did my driving classes when I was working. When I was married, I had two kids. And let me tell you something. Do all those things when you're single. Because when, when it get it get it gets hectic when you're doing all those things much later in life so take 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 advantage of your singlehood don't use your singlehood to do things that don't even glorify god not even glor glorifying god but even you they don't even actually they, i don't know who they glorify so use your singlehood well enjoy your singlehood make the right decisions travel if you can learn your weaknesses know your strengths know what you can and what you can't handle that is a stage when you know all those things so my next the next stage i'll be discussing about is the dating stage and the dating stage is where now you get out of enjoying your singlehood you choose or maybe one particular person gets to you get to know each other better now 
and the dating time you you can you when you're dating that is the time when you get to understand each other like when you get to know each other you can never know a person like really much until you start living with them but at that particular time you can tell a person you can tell a lot about a person when you talk with them when when you interact with them most of the times so that is the period when you start getting to know each other out of the friends you made get to know each other get to learn their their, their what they like what they doesn't like what they don't like their goals their short term goals their long term goals their dreams all those things and now when a guy now decides that this is the lady of my dreams and and he wants to pop in the question now the ladies the ladies now this is where now the ball is on your on your, on your side now and you have the you have the you 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 have you you now you have the the what now how do i put it you have the mandate or maybe you have the it's now your turn to make that decision you can either say yes you can say no saying no is okay saying actually don't say yes simply because everybody else says yes you say no if you feel like and you know that god has shown you this is not the right thing or that you're not that doing the right thing it is okay to say no if you feel like and you know that this is not going anywhere so it is your chance you can say no if you feel it's not going anywhere you it is okay to say no it is okay to come out clean and just be honest with that person don't say yes for the sake and then go being a be a miserable person don't say yes just to make people happy and then go be miserable yourself so if you feel it's not okay just say no from the beginning don't wait until you get into marriage and that's where you are saying i think i made a wrong decision i think i could have said no i think i couldn't know just say no and i keep saying no is a complete sentence by the way no means a lot when you say no it's a no and when you say yes it's a yes make sure whatever you whatever you say you say what you mean and you say what you've been led by the spirit to say my next step is now the engagement Ah, no, they're not the engagement. Engagement, you, you say, you say yes or you say no and don't be afraid to say no. Now, after that is when you get into marriage. I will not discuss too much on marriage because it's a long, long topic. And it's a topic that requires a video on its own. I feel like it's a video on its own. It's not something that you just uh, talk about like a few minutes and you're done. Uh, I'll just touch on some things and then I'll make a video on its own in God's time. I'll just I'll pray about it because that is not my area but I uh, will discuss all those things and and I'll tell you something my pastor keeps saying marriage is not for babies like marriage is for grown-ups like you need to be you need to get yourself you need to get everything right like you need to not like actually perfect but there are things you should know how to you should be spiritually mature you should be emotionally mature you should be financially mature you should be you should be able to handle different types of stages in life like when things happen you understand that things happen yeah and when when things are not working well you are in a position to understand all those things so you should be mature in every part of your life you shouldn't be perfect nobody is uh so what you need to do is like you need to handle things in a mature way and you need to know like the area that i feel you should be more mature is, is your spiritual life like you need to be spiritually mature like mature you mature like i mean you should be spiritually mature so when you get into marriage marriage i mean so now and i keep saying moving in together is not marriage getting some getting pregnant is not marriage and it will not lead into marriage marriage is a place where you don't have to do a big wedding you don't even have to do a big uh, wedding if you're not in a position to uh but when you get your blessings from your parents you get blessings from your pastor you get your blessings and uh you pray about it and god confirms it and you know that that is the right thing and you know you you can tell you can tell because when you're in the spirit you can tell that this is the right person and i keep telling people the reason why i tell people to pray before they get into marriage is because you know what you want but god knows what you need so pray about it and when god leads you to the right person and when you meet the right person you can go ahead get your parents blessings get your guardians blessings get your pastor's blessings and you can go ahead and start that marriage life so in marriage what do you what do you expect in marriage like what do you 
how do you handle that particular stage like when you 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 when you pray about it it does not get that much hectic it is not smooth like it's not perfect yes you'll go through some challenges yes you're going to face some things together but when you are together like when you've made that decision both of you have made that decision and you are not forced and you are not you are not forced by someone you are not forced by circumstances you know these are you are not forced by society and you are not forced by circumstances there are circumstances that force you to get married that will not last like it will ha you'll have to go through you'll have to fight battles so many battles for it to work but if you pray about it and you ask god to lead you it's not going to be as hectic because god is always going to so god is no, god is going to show you solutions like god is going to be your solution that is what i meant to say like when you when you when you pray and when god leads you to the right person he's always going to provide solutions whenever you're going through a hard time so i'll not discuss too much on that i'll just let you know that it's a stage like those are the stages. so those are some of the stages there are so many stages of relationships there is widow widower there's a divorcee the, you, all those things it doesn't matter what stage you're in like you need to handle that stage i've never been in a position of a widow i've never been in a position of a widower i've never been uh, in a position i've been in a position of i've never been in a position of divorce but i've been in a position of separation there's a difference between separation and divorce like divorce it is done it is done you are not getting back together and nothing is going to bring you back together unless god himself decides like <laughs> it's going to be you are going to be together but if you make a decision of not being together going going ahead and signing the divorce those divorce papers and deciding this is not me this is not we are not doing this uh there's nothing there's nothing that can be changed but I've been in a position of separation uh, and I know like I know it is not easy it is not easy like uh, uh, it helped me it helped the both of us grow like we learned each other but we learned we, we, we went through this because we did not pray first before we got in that's what I'm saying before you get in pray before you get in don't wait until things are not working out or where things are tough is when you're praying for things to change no pray before you get in because going god is going to give you the strength to overcome all those things you don't need to get in and then separate and then no you can pray before and god is going to give you the strength and he's going to carry you through all or he's going to carry you all through so god bless you so much and you keep to what you want to all i need is a child mr kikuolewa no don't do that don't do that to yourself that is hurting yourself and hurting that baby because you're going to hurt that baby god knew what he said. god god knew exactly what he wanted when he when he may he, he allowed for a child to be raised in a family there are things that you as a mother need to teach this child there are things that you as a husband or a, or a, has, a, a father need to, che to teach this child a man can be only can only be taught how to be a man by another man and a woman can only be taught how to be a woman by another woman so we help each other where can i help where where I, uh, god has assigned me to do i do and where god has assigned him to do let him do don't just say uh, to see they can give me during the weekend no don't do baby daddy baby dish baby daddy baby mama thing don't do that to yourself you are too precious in the eyes of god if you want to get married just seek uh if you want to get to the like you want a family you want to get married just ask god the bible says that you ask and it shall be given to you ask with an honest heart and going is god is god is going to give you the right person for you he's going to give you the right family for you and you're going to enjoy every bit of that family you are going to love whatever whatever god, what, god, the blessings of, of god are true and they added no sorrow in them so whatever god god gives you be less assured is not going to have any sorrow it's going not going to cause you any pain it's not going to be like a one time thing and then he takes it back when he gives you he gives you wholeheartedly so if you want to get married just be honest with god if you don't want to it is okay it is okay not to get married but don't say you don't want to get married and go breaking other people's marriages don't go don't say you don't want to get married and you go sleeping around with anybody if you don't want to get married stay single like single single is single you're not dating you're not doing what you're not having sex you're there you're single like that if that's what you want it is okay just be be you do you just enjoy that part of that life if you want to it is okay it is okay 
But if you want to get married, there are stages that you need to follow. You have to be single, you've got to date, you've got to get engaged, and then you've got to know, you've got to get into marriage. I'll make a video on marriage. I'll pray for the Spirit of God to lead me. And once I do, I will most definitely upload it on my channel. I love you so much. I hope you're going to be transformed. I hope you've learned. Tell a friend who is single and is, not, is wasting their life. Watch this video. It's going to be transforming. I know God is going to bless you. I love you so much. If you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do so. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload this video. I make videos on how to overcome everyday challenges based on the word of God. I love you so much and see you on my next